Back when I first started playing Ranked and first started playing League of Legends in general, I remember my very first promo game very, very vividly. It was an awesome experience. I got to go Cho'Gath in the top lane. I went around 8, 4, and 12 by the end of it, so I had a pretty decent score. But what really made the game for me was the fact that we were losing for most of the game until the enemy team decided to do Baron, and I was able to flash over the Baron pit, steal it with my feast, and win us the game. It was the best possible way I could start off my Ranked career, but what I really remember was the fact that I was so excited to think about this is just the first step of many on my way towards becoming as good of a League of Legends player as I possibly could. Going back before even your first ranked game, try to think of the very first few games you ever played when first getting into League of Legends. I remember mine pretty vividly as well, that, you know, the first few games you get a feel for it, you understand a few of the champions, you maybe play two or three to sort of get the feel of what they're like and what this game is like, but around the fourth or fifth game is really when things started to get interesting for me. Up until that game, I had only really experienced all the free-to-play champions, and I think one or two of the ones I tried back in the beta, but in my fourth or fifth game, I had a guy pick Vigar and go top lane Vigar with his white mage skin. This was such an exciting, thrilling thought for me, the fact that there was this new variable in the game that nobody had any idea what he does. Nobody had smurfs back then, nobody was playing the game secretly and actually knew everything there is to know about the game. Everyone was just as befuddled as everyone else as to what this new character would do. I doubt the guy who even played Vigar knew what he was doing much. It was such an exciting experience though because of the fact that pretty much every champion in League of Legends is unique. No two champions will really share many similar qualities at all other than mages being generally bursty, AD carries focusing on auto attacks and all that. So for instance, Malphite shares nothing with Annie, both in concept, in how he's played, in how he was designed designed, or even in his lore. This feeling of the unknown, the thought of discovery, and sort of what's next, what is it you're going to face in your next game, can get, it, it can be such a powerful and exciting feeling that's typically only reserved for people who play very expansive games like World of Warcraft or Skyrim that have these huge crafted worlds that you wonder what it is that you're going to discover as you go over the next cliff, as you climb the next mountain to see the next town or village. League of Legends, however, is able to capture a very similar feeling with just the depth of content that it has, which is such an exciting thing for newcomers and one of the reasons I think, at least from personal experience, it's one of the reasons that I was able to play the game for a very long time without really getting bored or without really, you know, fading away and moving on to another game. As you get more and more knowledgeable about the game, though, that feeling does eventually fade away. You start knowing all the champions, you start learning what their abilities are, you even start learning their names so you can know that Kennen's Q is Thundering Shuriken or that Irelia's Q is Blade Surge or whatever. So you start to really learn the ins and outs of every champion, not just to a point where you know what every character does in the game, but you even know who you're probably going to be playing against based around who's popular, who's strong, and what the meta conforms to. That sort of feeling of excitement for the unknown and for discovery starts to fade away, and to be honest, this is where a lot of games lose their player base, but this is where the competition kicks in and where League does a fantastic job of holding people in. League of Legends competitive scene thrives because the game has such a large casual scene. A large casual audience comes from the accessibility to the content and all of this wonderment and discovery, but the fact that it has such a large viewer base allows the game to become competitive. And because of that, once you get all of this information and start to lose your, you know, the unknown feeling of discovery, you're still facing a very exciting adventure at who you're going to face next, who you're going to play against next, and how you can use all of the information you've gathered to become a better player and do creative things within the game. It's as if all the knowledge that you previously felt awe and adventure towards is now a set of tools that you can use to create your own adventure, whether you want to go pro or just see how good you can get with your favorite character. It's a beautiful setup that allows everyone from Bronze to Challenger to have that same sort of excitement for discovery and pushing forward, looking to the future, as any other rating does out there, or as as any other game does. It builds a very strong player base that can thrive for years without requiring constant installments of new content to keep it alive and relevant. Now there's a very tightly knit community that's spawned from all of this that will argue till dawn about how their game is so fantastic because they feel so passionate about how awesome it really is. This isn't the only thing that gets people playing League or keeps them playing of course, but I think it's a pretty big one and a pretty important one that's led to its success 
that other games, especially games that aspire to have some sort of competitive scene, should really look into. Anyway though, those are just my opinions on all this. You can leave your own in the comments down below. If you'd like to give me some feedback on these daily discussion videos, be sure to do so. I'll of course. One thing that I didn't mention in my video yesterday was the fact that I will scale back if the quality of my video starts to drop or if everybody absolutely hates it. So be sure to tell me if you like it or not. I'll take your feedback and improve on it. But anyway, until tomorrow, good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.